everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing video today i have another wolf in time unboxing for the month of january i have both the wolf in time which is the smaller subscription box and then the luna lux which is the larger subscription box the only reason i'm not downstairs where i usually am is because my boyfriend is using that space he has his whole computer set up down there and he's doing some work so i just thought i would come up here so i hope you guys like the new little scenery for today i do kind of don't like how this is not like the real moon phase but this is how they said you're supposed to put it up on the wall and i think it looks nice so please don't come for me that it's not the correct moon phase if you have not seen any of my previous wolf in time unboxings i'm just going to go through a little bit of the price and the amount of items that you get in each of the boxes um, but i do also have a playlist of all the previous unboxings i have done so if you wanted to check those out i'll put the playlist in the eye or I will also link it down below just so you can see that. But the first box I'm going to open is the Wolf and Time box, which is the smaller size. And that is five items a month for $32. The Luna Lux box, so the larger size box, the one here on the bottom, is 10 different items per month and it is $72 per month. And that's if you are getting the subscription. The price that I am saying is always the price for purchasing a subscription. You can go on and purchase a lot of the boxes separately, like the January box is listed on the website. If you love this box and you wanted to get it, um, it is listed for $80. So if you're just buying a box outright, it is going to be a little bit more, but if you are getting a subscription, it'll be less. So that's how most subscription boxes work though. If you wanna buy a past box, it's just more expensive because you're not getting a subscription. So I've seen that for literally every subscription box I've ever gotten but that is an option if you liked this box a lot and wanted the items in it, you can go on and purchase that box. But if you did wanna start a subscription, um, I do have a coupon code, it's xwolf15, and you'll get 15% off your first subscription box. So that is always an option for you if you wanted to go on, and that applies to both the Wolf in Time and the Luna Lux. This box um, has its own kind of little write-up on the website, it says, it is focused on crystal alchemy, galaxy guidance, zodiacs, divination, and inner healing through the knowledge and wisdom of the universe. And the retail value of everything in the box is over $200. So literally insane. The theme is celestial connection. And it just sounds amazing. This is the one I kind of saw a little spoiler alert just from like a photo. But I still, I don't know what the specific items are in it. But I'm so excited to hop in and see because literally everything on the list sounds like something that I am interested in. And if you're on this video clicking about like subscription boxes like this, it's something I'm sure you might be interested in as well. So I'm gonna stop rambling on about how excited I am about seeing everything and just opening everything up and showing you what's inside. Oh my gosh, look at the little thing that is so pretty. There's a little sticker on it and it has a constellation which is perfect for the celestial theme for this month. On top, this here, which describes everything that's in the box, and it smells really good. I just got distracted by how good that smells. Oh, it smells like comfort. Like it smells like baby powder almost. That kind of like musky scent. I don't know, musk to me smells like a little bit like baby powder. That smells so good. I don't know what that is. But onto this second little thing here. It says Celestial Connection Crystal Grid. Ooh, okay. It says you need a crystal mandala grid, quartz crystal shards, blue moonstone tumble, and selenite moon face crystal wand. I'm going to hold this up in case this was something that you wanted to do yourself. That is really, really nice. This is so pretty. Oh, this must be what I'm smelling. Mm-hmm. I love this. It smells like baby powder, like comfort. I love that smell. It's just very like powdery and light and like fresh smelling. I like this, this smells really nice. But this print, oh my gosh, look at how just ethereal this looks. It is so beautiful. I literally wanna hop into this and just like escape into the universe it is so pretty. Oh, look, that there. That is what that is supposed to be. That's the correct moon phase. But this is the way they said they wanted you to put it on the wall. Literally, I got it from Kohl's, so that's probably why they don't actually know the moon phases. But I put it up the exact way that they said to, and my boyfriend said he prefers it this way, even though it's not actually like the moon phases. Um, so yeah, 
I don't know. Do you guys think I should change it and make it right or should I just leave it like this? I've had it for so long and I've just left it like this because that's literally how it is displayed. But I don't know, this, <laughs> this is the correct moon phase. It goes that way, but yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. I was just talking about that and there it is. But that is the first print. It is one of Kat's creations. Um, it's like a combination of like watercolor, but also like photocopying. She uses a lot of different mediums um, to create these prints. And I like how kind of abstract this is. Like it has a lot of different like gold foiling on it, a stamp. It's got, of course, the wax seal print um, that she usually does. She does like a wax seal. And of course the watercolor is so, so beautiful. It almost doesn't even look like a print with how like textured the watercolor is. It is so pretty. So that is the second item technically because the first one was um, the ritual, but we'll get into everything else. So here is the print. The waves ripple and reflect the night sky, glimmering with stars, constellations, and the powerful moon's energy. The clouds drift slowly along, shielding and then revealing each phase as the moon changes her face each passing day. She moves the great ocean in rhythmic waves, softly holding the vibrant sea life below and reflects her presence on the glassy horizon. This 5x7 watercolor print is from the painting Luna Sea and was made with a shaman ritual to connect to the cosmic rhythm of the universe, combining sea and sky. It was created using watercolor, ink, colored pencil, acrylic paint, blessed salt, essential oil of a rise, which represents new beginnings and rising up, gold and silver foil, and metallic pigment. You can see its process and watch the magic unfold on the YouTube channel The Luna Loft to connect more to its meaning. Next, I have this mandala. What was this? The mandala grid. So this is a crystal grid mandala, part of the, I don't think it was a ritual. It was just the crystal grid leaflet that we had. So I have the crystal grid mandala. You'll lay the little crystals on this surface, but I haven't actually seen like a grid like this. It's super detailed. Carved from wood and energized with the ancient geometry of the mandala, this crystal grid is the base to create energy, portals, aura clearing, and spatial purification. In Sanskrit, the word mandala refers to circle of completion and helps assist you with inner healing and self-evaluation. It opens the door to exploring the universe, its cosmic energy, and the devotion one should have to seeking spiritual enlightenment. Next, oof, look at this gold bag. This is so pretty. So I have this gold bag. We've never gotten bags like this before. These are super pretty. And I'm that one person that hoards every bag we've ever gotten. Blue moonstone, it says blue moonstone, and then quartz. So this is absolutely beautiful, that flash. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see how bright that is? And then I have some of these quartz points and I love these. I don't know how I'm gonna show these all to you in here, but I'll definitely do a close up on everything so you can see. They all have these like little barcodes on the sides, which are also called Lemurian quartz. That just is like the little horizontal lines that are on the sides of quartz. If it's on every single side, then it can be called a Lemurian. The little story behind Lemurian quartz is that it is believed that Lemuria was a lost city similar to Atlant Atlantis. And these little lines, these little like, barcodes on the crystal are like stories of like people who lived in that time. They're able to like write their life story in this stone. So yeah, it is believed that um, Lemurian Quartz is the long lost city of Lemuria. There's a lot of different places in the world that have crystal formations with the horizontal pattern along the sides of them. So not technically everything would be Lemurian if it's not from a specific mind, a specific mind, but because it has the little horizontal striations, um, in my book, anything like that can be a Lemurian quartz because it has those barcodes on the sides of the stones. So just noticed that and I thought that was really cool, but those were the items that were included that we can put on our little mandala and create a crystal grid. In your metallic gold bag are the crystals needed for your grid and ritual, including a blue flash moonstone and clear quartz shards. Blue moonstone is a rare and valuable gem that carries a bright blue flash that illuminates its inner core, making it truly unique. It is the element of wind and stimulates both the third eye and crown chakras. 
It teaches you about divine timing with the universe and to be patient with growing and when life gives you challenges. It connects you to the power of the moon, goddess feminine nurturing, and emotional soothing. Clear quartz shards will help you with your grid formation and magnifying the ambient energy, clearing and cleansing the space, healing, amplification of your intentions, and programming of your manifestation. It is the element of the storm, stimulates all chakras, and enhances both communication from your spirit guides as well as your psychic abilities. They are the perfect stone to enhance your energy of your selenite and blue moonstone, letting them all work in harmony together as well as any other crystals you want to add to your grid formation. I have another one of these little bags. This one's a small version of it. Ooh, I have a necklace like a moon and a sun next to each other with some little crystals and I have like a satellite chain to it, which is the one that has those beads. So it's a cobra chain, but with beads along it, which these are called um, satellite chains, which I think are so pretty. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, this is such a pretty necklace. Aw, look at it. That is so cute. Sparkling in your new 18K gold pendant is a moon and sun intertwined with cubic zirconian diamonds and precious gems. It is laced on a 14K gold chain with celestial orbs floating around its length. It is a special piece to help you remember to connect to the abundant and vast galaxy, that we are all a part of the universe and that your light is unique and precious with great purpose. Last, potentially. Ooh, I have, that is so pretty. I have like a selenite charging plate, but it has the phases of the moon on it. The phases of the moon are what help us understand our current moods, our emotional state, and give us guidance as to how we should give ourselves self-care. They are carved upon the selenite crystal wand to help you connect to the moon's messages and to use as a celestial tool in transporting yourself through the planes and into other realms. Selenite lets you see and hear your spiritual guides more clearly, activates the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th chakras, and creates a safe channel to receive messages while learning more about your inner wisdom and interdimensional knowledge. Listen guys, I never film in here, so I don't think it is a coincidence that I'm getting all of these moon phase items and essentially it's just shaming me into wanting to change that because like it's telling me, the universe is telling me this is the correct way to have them. I don't know. <laughs> I probably will end up changing it just like looking at it and seeing all of these other moon phase things that are the right way and mine is just not right so can't have that but I have this really pretty selenite um, charging plate really good to put your stones on it selenite is a super cleansing material good to not only cleanse itself but it can cleanse other stones if you want to charge your stones cleanse them make sure that they're working the best way possible for you Putting them on selenite is a great way to really cleanse them and recharge them. That was everything in the Wolf and Time box. Now on to the Luna Lux box. This one is a lot larger as you can see in size because this one has double the amount of items in it. And I'm just really excited to dig into it and see what it is for the month. Here it is. We have another one of these really pretty stickers right on top. Of course, I have the description of everything in the box. This one's two pages. Yeah, this one is two pages. So a lot more stuff in here to go over, a lot more instructions because there are more items. Let me just read the top as well while I have it. It says, through the forest trees, the night sky illuminates with the Milky Way and the full moon. You see a falling light and close your eyes to make a wish upon a rare fallen star. This is a manifestation, a push of your energy wish into the universe so that you can bring forth your intention. For this month's theme, we will focus on celestial connection and the very realms and beings that give us messages, guidance, and deeper knowledge. We will seek past the stars and go further into the wisdom of your zodiac, the moon phases, crystal alchemy, and celestial ritual. I have our oracle card. We get an oracle card every single month, and this one is absolutely stunning. There's like a compass on it, and I got the fourth house, um, and it says home, number 42. So that is the card that I got for this month. Really pretty. And you can get the full decks for these. So if you like the imagery, if you're connected to this particular type of deck, um, it's on the website if you wanted to get the full size. So that is my Oracle card for the month. Your intuitively selected card is from the Star Codes Astro deck and has a special message just for you. Look up its meaning in your new guidebook and meditate on the intuitive knowledge you have been given. 
add it to your grimoire, book of shadows, moon journal, or upon your altar for inspiration. And the crazy part about this is that I showed Kevin the deck that we had gotten in this box and he literally pulled this exact card and said, I think you'll really like this card because this reminds me of you. So I seriously got the most perfect card for me pulled for this box. Next I have the Celestial Connection Ritual. These are really wonderful resources to just put straight into your Book of Shadows, your Grimoire. If you just have a notebook that you like to put things that you don't have a name for, but it's just your notebook that you put stuff in, really great to just utilize these as they are because not only is it really good information, but it's aesthetically really pleasing, better than anything I can make myself. <laughs> so I love just like taking these and like literally sticking them right into my book. It's just very helpful and it's good to refer back to. So it says you need, I don't wanna to read too much of what, what is on here because it's gonna give away some of the stuff. So I'll revisit this. This special ritual includes all of your box items with the exception of matches and not only helps you meditate with your pyramid, but also connects you to your galaxy guides and interdimensional spirits. You will use your new card deck, your new crystal moon, your oracle card mat, the organite pyramid, and your wish paper kit. Create the experience as directed or use all of your new tools to make your own celestial connection on your unique path. I always do that. I'll like get so excited and want to look at everything right away that is says on the ritual, but that often says what else is in the box and I just, I don't wanna know yet. So, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. We have a moon phase calendar, which I have had a moon phase calendar before. Um, it's in my room tour for the house that we used to live in. I had my moon phase calendar, but I didn't have one for 2021. I just had um, the Llewellyn's calendar I just had a regular calendar that like talked about the moon phases, but I didn't have a moon phase calendar. So I am so excited to have one now because I have nothing above my altar space ever since I threw out my old calendar. So this is gonna go up there. This is absolutely beautiful. I love that it combines her artwork and then just the phases of the moon. This is really great for planning if you like to do certain work on certain moon phases. Um, it's really helpful just to plan. To follow the path of the moon, we must know when the phases are in line with our calendar months, so Kat has created an original piece of artwork to help track the moon. Each phase is charted with the month and the day of the northern hemisphere and reminds you of the right time to check in with her energy. The artwork was inspired by Kat's four totem animals, the wolf, the owl, the deer, and the bear, protectors and guides of both the physical and spiritual worlds. The raven is the messenger of our higher consciousness and the moon's layer upon the trees, the flowers, and the growing thyme plant to remind us that nature and our universe are all connected in one ancient circle of life. Oh my God, that's not even the print for this month. There's another print. We have this print. Look at how pretty these look together. They definitely go so beautifully. Oh my gosh, and this shooting star here. Oh, there's actual like gold foil on it that you can see that she used when making the actual painting. Feels like I'm in a totally different dimension. I. Love it, it's beautiful. So this is the print for this month. Through the triangle portal, the large supermoon glows and the comet falls as the night sky sparkles with bright stars. The mountains and forested hilltops glow with its ancient light and the powerful sun starts to peak over the horizon. The original watercolor print is from the painting Celestial Connection, where a shaman ritual was done to enhance the energy of direct universal source. It was creating using watercolor ink, blessed salts, ink stamps, colored pencil, gel pen, lavender essential oil for intuitive dreamlike sight, and metallic pigments. The process and magic can be seen on the YouTube channel The Luna Loft, where it was filmed with music and a quick time lapse so you can better feel its deeper meaning for your practice. Next, I'm gonna take out these incenses. Oh, these incense that come in the box are some of my favorites because they're so unique and they're a lot like lighter and airier than I'm used to with incense. They just smell really, really nice. So I love these incense. Flying wish paper. Oh my gosh, I've done. Bruh. Hello? I actually have done flying wish paper before. I got one in a previous box that I've done and I just love the concept behind it. Essentially, it is a kit to make your wishes come true. You write it, you light it on fire, and then you watch it fly. So you kind of let it go and it'll like dance a little bit in the wind. So that's what it looks like. It comes with the pencil, the paper that you need, and instructions on what you do. You just write your wishes, your dreams, things that you want, things that you want to manifest into your life. 
and after you write it down, you'll light it on fire and then you'll release it. So essentially you're just taking all of your hopes, your desires, your goals, what you want to attract and releasing it out into the universe. If you're somebody that like struggles with just using your mind for manifestation and you need like tangible things to have, I think flying wish paper or anything like that, that is tactile that you can, you know, touch and visibly see can be very, very helpful and actually you know, working with a spell or doing a ritual. Um, it just helps to supplement it if you have trouble just like thinking in your mind and manifesting through just like intention of your thoughts. Really nice to be able to actually put it on paper and see that, you know, response of it flying away and lighting on fire and really going out into the universe. Um, it definitely could make such a huge difference. To help you connect to the celestial realms, this manifestation wish paper kit has been included. It has special paper, a pencil, and an energetic base with instructions on how to use it. Write down your intentions, push your energy into the paper, create the manifestation, and light it up. It will float into the sky and disappear as it is taken into the energy of the universe. Oh gosh, I want to do the organite. I see an organite pyramid. Oh, oh my gosh, this is such a pretty one. There's selenite on the bottom. And there's, of course, like the little copper wire and some quartz on the top. This is a gorgeous one. I haven't seen one with selenite in the bottom. And I love selenite. Super cleansing. And organite is very protective um, against EMF radiation. So if you have like electronic devices near you, um, organite is really great to keep and help protect you against that. That is literally so weird that there's a Lemurian quartz shards in here because I was just talking about Lemurian quartz. That is so funny. I don't own any Lemurian quartz myself. Um, so I think this is a sign that I need to get some. I need to like add some to my collection because um, that is just too much of a coincidence. So here is this Organite. This is actually a really, really beautiful one. Your new pyramid is made of high-grade resin, selenite crystals, labradorite chips, copper shavings, copper coils, and a Lemurian seed quartz. It is stacked in a way to push the energy up and out as you meditate with it to help you with psychic protection, connection to spirit, to open your chakras, and to create a path of energy as a conductor. Discovered in the 1930s by scientist Wilhelm Reich, a gifted visionary, the Orgone device is used to connect to universal energies as a transmitter and helps you with interdimensional awakening while creating a portal to higher realms. The selenite acts as celestial guidance, the labradorite protects you from psychic attack, the copper provides a harmonic connection between the physical and astral bodies, and the Lemurian seed conducts amplifies and transmits messages of unconditional love and equality from advanced ancient civilizations as an energy grid link from earth to the stars and other planes. I want to keep this in my bedroom because I have a little um, shungite pyramid. I'll show you guys because I'm in my bedroom now. I have my shungite pyramid and then I'm going to have my organite right next to each other. How pretty is that going to be? They're just going to live right next to each other. Don't know what this is, but this caught my attention and I feel like I need to take this out immediately. What is this? It's very reflective. Oh my gosh. Woo, so reflective. Let me see what this is because I'm not entirely sure. Celestial Circle Oracle Mat. Ooh, okay. So it is a mat that you can um, put your Oracle cards on. When you're drawing them, you can put them down on this mat. Or honestly, you can just use this as a decoration. I'm already thinking because I have a not, I have like a, a table in my living room that I have this little like moon like mirror type situation and some things so this might look really pretty down flat first and then put th things on top of it I don't know I might use it for that or just in general to like pull cards I kind of like the idea of using this on a table because it's just so pretty I like how reflective it is so that is the next item in either gold or silver, this celestial circle oracle mat has the star pass and asteroid streams across its face. It is a circle so that you can channel in the protection energy orb from universal source and is a perfect place for you to do your star code astro spreads. Easily clean it with a warm wet cloth, roll it up for storage, and use it for your celestial connection ritual. I personally really love the way this looked on my coffee table, so that's probably where I'm going to end up using it, but it's really beautiful no matter what way you decide to use it. Next, I'm gonna pull this because I get very excited when we have oracle cards. Oh my God, is this, this is this, where is it? I, this is this. This is 
this. <gasps> they are the same. We got the full size deck of the card that we got. That is so exciting. I'm gonna open these up and take a peek because I am in love with these cards. The imagery on them is just so pretty. Here they are all together. Oh my God, these are even prettier than I thought. Look at this one. The 11th house, the 12th house. We have the chakras, conjunction, opposition. Ooh, transits, progressions. Ooh, this dignified strength card is absolutely stunning. Wow, these are so magical and just like, whoa, look at the Venus. Sorry, I keep getting distracted because they're so pretty. Wow, the imagery on these is very celestial. And I absolutely love Oracle cards. I think they're really, really helpful um, if tarot doesn't connect with you. I still love using tarot. Um, but I like to supplement my tarot card readings with Oracle cards. Or if I'm just really not in the mood to pull, usually I will try to pull a tarot card every day just to have like a card for the day um, and just kind of like base my day off of how it's going and like just get a feel for what's going to come. Um, but I do also love using Oracle cards to supplement them or sometimes just in exchange for them. Cause some mornings, like if I'm just feeling like I don't want any type of negativity that might come out with <laughs> using tarot because there are some not so pleasant cards if maybe I'm not in for the brutal reality of my life. Um, I do like doing just some positive Oracle decks because for the most part, I find Oracle decks to be like wildly more positive even than tarot. Tarot's like the brutal truth. Like she's gonna tell you what you need to hear. Maybe not what you wanna hear, but what you need to hear. Oracle cards are like, you know, the very supportive, loving, like we're just going to support and love you. That's like the type of vibe and energy I get from my Oracle cards. I mean, there are some that definitely are probably gonna throw you for a loop, but the ones that I get at least, I have like the soul coaching Oracle deck. I have the goddess um, Oracle deck. So literally anything like that I love because it's almost always so, so positive. Of course it comes with a guidebook as well that describes a little bit more in depth everything if you wanted to actually read into the cards a little bit more. I often just like to see what it says and kind of just go off my gut feeling about what I feel. Ooh, they have all the zodiacs as well. So here's Aries, Taurus, Gem, our Gem Gang, Cancer. Of course, I'm gonna go and find the Pisces because that's me. Oh my gosh, shut the front door. On my card, there are peonies. And I just got my peony tattoo. That is the Oracle deck, the Star Codes Astro Oracle. Your new 56 card Oracle deck comes with a full 135 page guidebook with card spreads and orientation to astrology, action messages, as well as challenge, which is the reverse side of the card, and gifts, which is the upright guidance. It includes the luminaries, planets, asteroids, lunar nodes, cardinal points, houses, zodiac signs, qualities, solar activity, supportive aspects, challenging aspects, and changing states. The powerful images by Lucas Lua de Souza engage your senses and draw you into the message as Heather Roan Robbins takes you into the influential relationships between celestial bodies as they move through the sky and through your life with wisdom and insight. Next, I'm gonna use this one. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's a sun, a sparkly sun. Oh, this is too pretty. I don't know what that is, but that is so sparkly and beautiful. I love this one so, so much. I don't know what this material is in the center, but it is this beautiful sparkly stone. It kind of looks like a Gilson opal, but it's just so sparkly and beautiful. I don't care what it is. This is so pretty and it would be amazing for layering, which I love to layer my necklaces. This beautiful silver necklace is made of silver alloy and carries upon it a bursting star with a genuine precious opal gem in its fiery center. The white precious opal is the element of water and activates all chakras while intensifying your emotions and purifying your aura. It can help bring angelic energy to your spirit and can support your intuition in hearing your spirit teachers more clearly. It is a positive ally for cleansing any negative energy out, showing insight to your shadow issues so that you can release them and work to have a brighter path ahead. 
As you wear it, remember that you are connected to the stars, that your light inside is also part of the universe, and that your purpose is a part of a much bigger picture in creating your true, authentic life. I'm gonna grab this in here. <gasps> a moon! A little Jerusy moon! This is so beautiful. It's a little agate Jerusy moon. I wish you could see what I see. I'm like looking through the stone and you can see the beautiful natural banding of the stone. Agate geodes are a mix of dendritic agate and banded agate with crystal druzy clusters formed from water deposits that evaporated when the stone cooled and create a sparkly crystal layer left behind. This one is shaped in the form of a crescent moon and holds the twinkle of the stars within its geode core. It can help you open your eyes to a higher consciousness awakening while seeing the divine blueprint of your inner self. It gives support for path correlation to get you on the right journey for your purpose and helps you see guidance and vision from your spirit guides with better communication. It activates all of your chakras while grounding you with its earth element energy and lets you feel more at peace when going into meditation. So that is it for the January Wolf in Time and Luna Lux boxes. And I say this all the time, but I still, I'm just so blown away by all of the effort, all the love and the care that goes into not just making one subscription box, but making two that while they have the same theme, they have completely different items in the boxes, completely different write-ups. It's just so much attention and meticulous, you know, detailing that goes into picking these items and selecting them for the boxes that just aligns so perfectly with the theme. And I can feel the love so much when I get these boxes because, you know, you can tell so much work went into them and I'm always, always blown away by them. I think this Luna Lux is one of my favorite boxes ever. It's just, this theme in particular was so like right down my alley. It just made my heart sore. So I absolutely loved it. Let me know if you guys have ever gotten this box before or what you thought about this one. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.